Perhaps you are tired of the same old boring Digimon affair, summoning Gabumons, warping into Gabubons, attacking with Jessmon, playing Sistermons. Maybe you're over it. You're looking for something new. You're looking for a deck to set you apart from the crowd. You want to prove that you are the most Chad Digimon player. Well then, look no further. This is the deck for you. We're going to go over how you too can become a based Commandramon enjoyer. All right. So what is the Commandramon deck archetype? Uh, it is essentially a package of small aggressive floaters. Um, they uh, are small level threes. They have the ability to replace themselves on the board and they have access to all the strong removal options that Black now offers in BT5 and especially in BT6. Um, for those of you who have played Yu-Gi-Oh! before, I think a pretty good comparison is the uh, old gadget arch archetype, where you know is the red, uh, green, and yellow gadgets that would search out and replace them replace themselves and then you would play just simple one for one removal like a uh, smashing ground etc and then you would slowly build card advantage over your opponent that way all right so the uh commandermon core is uh, actually pretty small um and because of that there are a lot of ways to expand on the deck's strengths and then you can kind of customize the deck to your own liking that way uh, for the most part, the core Commandermon lineup is your level threes. So you play four of each for 16 Commandermons because of the BT4 Commandermon who's on deletion effect is you look at the top three cards of your deck and then you play a Commandermon among them without playing its memory cost. This is pretty much the glue that keeps the deck together. This is what makes Commandermon a good deck. If you are running a game where your BT4 Commandermon uh, always hits, then you're probably going to win just based on sheer advantage and pressure alone. Uh, for, oh, and before we move on, uh, the Commandermon boss monster is Darkjamon. Uh, this card is pretty unique. I guess the closest kind of comparison would be Armageddonmon, but um, that's kind of besides the point. So for Darkjamon, it is a level six. It gains rush, and the on play effect is that you return up to five Digimon cards with D Brigade. So all the Command Jamons, and then there's um, Seals Jamon and Tank Jamon. But um, you play Seals Jamon, but you don't play Tank Jamon. And also itself is a D Brigade. So you can return up to five from your trash to the top of your deck in any order, and then you gain two memory for each one. So essentially, you can gain up to 10 memory. And since this card costs 13, you can essentially pay it play it for three cost and then with rush and with your memory tamer you're going to be able to attack with it on the same turn uh the important thing to know about dark Jermon is that you have to have three or more memory in order to even attempt to play it um it can be tricky because you kind of just in your head think okay i only need to pay three memory to play the card but you actually need to pay 13 memory to pay the card and then the effect gains you back the 10 memory so if you're at two memory you can't even attempt to pay this card play this card because um you need the 13 play cost up front and then you get refunded the 10 from its own effect and because of that, um, the memory blocker cards pretty much hard counter this card. Uh, Teriyamon, Chumon, Madoki Betamon, and Gazimon. So green, black, blue, and purple, if you're against any of those matchups, um, be careful of those cards. Um, luckily, in Commandermon, we have a lot of access to removal cards to um, clear those from the board. So um, chances are you are going to be able to resolve your Dark Jamon. And if you do resolve your Dark Jamon, uh, oftentimes uh, that is a pretty strong play because it sets up your Searcher Command Jamons to be able to hit. Um, it also sets up your future Dark Jamons since it can recycle itself if you have another copy of it in your trash. Um, it is a very strong card and uh, one of the linchpins of the archetype alongside the BT4 Searcher Command Jamon. All right, so for other D Brigade support, um, it's 
pretty much not necessary outside of I would say the uh, Sealsdramon, which is just the uh, standard 6k blocker, play cost 5, Digivolve cost 2, lose 2 memory when attacking, um, you guys all know this card, every color has it. Um, you definitely play four of these because it helps round out your uh, D Brigade count to 20 for um, Dark Dramon. Um, well, I guess 24 if you count Dark Dramon itself. Um, other D Brigade support, Tank Dramon, uh, basically turns all your D Brigades into Command Dramon searchers. So um, it basically allows. Um, all your cards to turn into BT4 Command Dramon. The problem with Tank Dramon is that it's only top two instead of top three, so higher chance of whiffing. And it's a level five play cost seven. So um, it is actually very slow to get into Tank Dramon. And um, because you want to get advantage from its effect, you don't really want to risk attacking with it because then you can run into something in security that clears it or um, 7k is pretty easy for opponents to get over nowadays um, just by attacking over it if it's suspended. So um, honestly, I would not run Tank Dramon. I don't consider it a core card and it is oftentimes win more. Uh, then uh, you have Missimon, which is the um, level two egg that specifically says if you have D Brigade in your um, typing, you gain plus 1000. Uh, I think it's strictly worse than uh, the BT6 Pagumon, which is um, on deletion, look at your top card, and if it's Black Digimon, add it to your hand. Uh, that synergizes very well with the Commandermon floater strategy of just you know, swinging in with your weenies and having them replace themselves. And then it is almost always worse than the BT2 Sunemon, which is that if you have a card with the same name as the card it, it's the inheritable of, then you gain plus 2,000. So since you're pretty much always Commandermon on your board, uh, you'll get plus 2,000 instead of plus 1,000 that you get from the Missimon. So um, that card is definitely preferred. So Missimon, uh, I think in BT5 you play one, and then in BT6 you don't play it at all. And then there's a Dark Roar. It's a play cost three option, which is just um, removal, but um, it's a worse removal than Ultimate Flare, um, Iron Fist, and Geshwalt, however you pronounce that card. So um, you pretty much don't run this card at all. So just don't even bother. All right. And uh, that's pretty much the core of the Commandermon concept. Uh, we're going to go over um, quite a few different deck builds just because there's so many ways to go with this deck. Um, it's only a 16, 20, it's about a 24 card package, give or take. You can run less Dark Jamons and you can run less Tank, uh, or sorry, Seals Jamons. So um, that pretty much gives you over half the deck to play with in terms of like extra cards that you want to slot in. You can go a uh, rookie rush style. You can go a uh, security control style. You can even go just like a standard um, style. We'll go we'll go over all of those right now, and they are all pretty fun to play. Um, let's see here. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is just kind of go over the general Commandermon package cards. Uh, okay, so here's the Sunamon. The Missimon and the Pogumon, like I said, uh, Sunemon is better than Missimon, and uh, Pogumon is better than Sunemon. So uh, in BT5, you run four of this and one of this, and in BT6, you run four of this, one of this, and then you just don't play this one at all. Then you have your 16 Commandra Men that you have to play. Uh, Seals Jermon, uh, play four of this, and then Dark Jermon, play two to four of this one. You can definitely cut this down because sometimes it does break. Um, and then from there, Command or Dark Jamon gives us access to all the powerful black level sevens. Uh, the most important of which I think is Omnimon's Wart. I think this card combos extremely well with Dark Jamon because you use Dark Jamon's effect to put five D Brigades on top. Then you can Digivolve into Zwart. You mill three, you're guaranteed to hit because you just stack the top of your deck. Then you can play two, and then with the Zwart's effect on attacking, you return you can return that same Dark Jamon back to your hand and then reuse it. So it's um, a very, very powerful combo. 
uh, Omniman's wort being 15k is very relevant, especially in BT6, because um, if a bond run, runs into an insecurity, it'll die since they're only 14. Um, I think Zwart is probably your best level 7 option. Then we have uh, Zwart Defeat. If you're running a more security control style debrigade list, uh, Zwart Defeat obviously gains a lot of value because you'll be able to heal it and check it in your security. Plus, uh, it's not going to be a dead card in your hand like it is in like standard security control lists that sometimes don't run black or purple level 6s because you have Dark Jamon to enable you to digivolve into it. And uh, deleting tamers is going to be a pretty good effect in BT6 to get rid of uh, mats and ties that um, enable the bond warp. And we, of course, we have Onmon Alter S. Uh, this card is also good against bond decks because it'll uh, clear pretty much all of their rookies. Well, it does clear all their rookies because that's the effect. Um, I think you can justify playing maybe like. In a standard type Commandermon build, two Zwarts and one Alter S, or maybe you can even do two Alter S, two Zwart if you're you know really feeling it. But uh, we'll go over that build, and then the kind of last level seven option is Millenniumon. Millenniumon definitely um, plays into the floater archetype of Commandermon. Uh, it also lets you remove something, so it definitely doubles down on what you're trying to do. The problem is that I think it is a little less powerful than Zwart, especially if you consider uh, lower DP values, so bonds will swing over in security, that's already kind of a minus, and um, it doesn't help expand your board like Zwart does. So I think Zwart is just more of a bomb, but Millenniumon definitely has its place. Um, you can run either or I run toward, I lean towards Zord. Uh, then of course we have, uh, Tamers, uh, yeah, Izzy and Izzy and Joe duel. Uh, I think they're both good. Izzy lets you stack your deck so that way you can confirm that your BT4 command mod will hit. And, uh, Izzy and Joe kind of, again, plays into the whole, um, floater aspect because, uh, you can use your command Jermon blocker or seals Jermon to block one of the attacks and if it dies no problem you can just replace it by drawing a card um, if you swing with one of your command Jermon and they happen to survive and then they choose to swing over it then you draw a card it just really helps you double down on your um, floater aspect uh, then you have of course your black removal options ultimate flare gibwalt schwarmer and iron fisted onslaught all of these are good in Command Um especially of note is Gewalt Schwarmer because it, it deletes all Digimon play cost 7 or less. Um, if you don't know how to read, like me, and you just think it's on your opponent's board, then um, this card obviously is worse once you actually read the card and you realize that it's your board too. But in Command Jermon, because uh, your cards have on deletion replace, replace themselves effects, um, the downside is actually uh, kind of negated. So this card definitely has a little bit more value to consider in your decks. All right, so that's pretty much like the core, like black, like what is very good in Command Jermon and what you should consider, like if you're trying to build a deck from scratch. And then from here, we're gonna go into some like text, uh, cards that maybe aren't super obvious, but that you should really consider. Uh, first of all, we have uh, Starmon Spiral Masquerade package. Because your Commandermons tend to stick onto the board and they're small and relatively cheap to play, uh, you can kind of follow that up with uh, Starmon Spiral Masquerade, like much like we see with the uh, green yellow Ricky Rush from BT5. Um, it's very strong. Um, people sometimes don't expect it because you know they you're playing Commandermon and all of a sudden you know some yellow cards come out. Uh, I will go over a deck list for this and in a second. Uh, you can run uh, into more security control style. So you run your healing package, Magnajamon and Magna Angemon and Lusamon. Um, your other security control cards that go along with that. Um, where it's the new yellow card that's like minus 15k or something like that. Um, all the other yellow security control options. Um, you can definitely run in Commandramon security control. I think it's probably worse than just straight up security control with no command Jermons because command Jermons take up 16 slots which you could be using for other things 
but uh, the upside is that you are more aggressive than your standard security control build. So if that's something that you are interested in doing, then look into that. Um, and then lastly, and what I think is probably the funniest part about Command Jamon is that they fit into the Dramon archetype. So for example, here we have uh, Dracomon from the upcoming blue starter deck, which is reveal top three and then add one Dramon to your hand. So every Command Jamon, Tank Jamon, Dark Dramon, um, you could even Magna Dramon, you know, there's so many random Dramons that fit into this archetype. Uh, you can definitely pull something together with that, and um, you can follow it up with this Air of Dragons card, which I actually find myself really liking as kind of a concept because it's play cost three, draw two. So right away, not so great. But then the second effect is that if you control a Greymon or a Dramon, then you delete a Digimon with 4,000 DP or less. So all of a sudden it becomes just a straight clean, like plus three, or I guess it's a plus two, instead of just being a plus one from drawing two cards. And it deletes an opponent's Digimon and 4,000 DP or less Digimon are gonna be pretty common in BT6 because you have uh, the Bonds running all their rookies and then um, even just other random 4,000 DP cards that are out there. Um, even some level fours are 4,000 DP or less. So um, I think this card is very interesting. Uh, they're, especially in combination with the Dracomon, just to keep your Dramons going. Um, I think it's worth considering. I really do. So we're going to go into some example builds right now. Um, we'll first start off with just a pure BT5 deck for us losers in North America who still don't have BT6. Uh, I call this B Brigade. Um, it's a name I've seen floating around and I think it's pretty funny. It's essentially just Black Yellow Rookie Rush. So you have your 16 Commander Men, uh, Starmons, and Pulsemon to enable your use of Spiral Masquerade. And the rest of it is pretty standard Ricky Rush type stuff. You have your um, 6K level four, Seals your mind to round out your uh, D Brigades. Uh, one Mechanori mind just cause there's room for it. Then you have uh, your four Dark Jamon. You can then put two Zwarts in to put on top of your Dark Jamons. Uh, four ultimate flares and three izzies um so your reason for playing this over just like a standard green yellow rookie rush is one ultimate flare access to ultimate flare will help you in rookie rush style mirrors and you also have a top end so you can uh, summon dark jamon out of nowhere and get your extra attack in which is always good in rookie rush style type decks and then um, you can go into Zwart and then just go into a big board expansion and delete one of their guys. Very, very powerful. So this is essentially kind of like a souped up version of Ricky Rush. It's maybe uh, less consistent because um, you know your Spiral Masquerade usage is gonna be dependent on whether or not you see Starmon or Pulsemon instead of just being always able to use it because you're running yellow eggs. And you also run less um, two drops because um, Command Jamon, the only two drop is this one, and the rest is three, and these are four, but usually you're just um, digivolving these over your eggs, so the four drop doesn't really come up. And also, of course, um, you can't really fit in Blinding Ray in this deck, unfortunately. It just gets too clunky, because you want to be running the four spirals, and running any more yellow options than that, can, you can run into bricks, since you're only running eight um, yellow Digimon to enable it. Uh, there's a lot of play with this version of the deck, for sure. Uh, if you're in BT5 meta and you are looking for something fun to play at locals for the next like week or two, give it a shot. If you don't have Pulsemon, you can just replace it with uh, Falcomon, and that's totally fine for what the deck is trying to do. All right, uh, let's then go into some more uh, BT6 decks, because I think we're pretty much almost there, so we can start looking at that. Uh, let's look at this, call this one Command Control. So it's pretty much just a straight up black control deck, uh, really taking inspiration from like those Yu-Gi-Oh gadget type decks. So um, it's just your 16 Command Jermen as per usual. Seals Jermen, uh, three Mechanoris in this deck because it'll help you in the Bond matchups. 
because it'll pretty much prevent uh, them from getting in chip damage early, which will make their bond um, less threatening when they do go into it. For Dark Jamon, uh, then we have your two Zwarts, and then we max out on your removals. So four Flares, four Schwarmer, and four Onslaught. Because um, the idea of this deck is you just want to go Command Jamons, get your chips in, and then when they replace themselves, uh, then you can safely use your card advantage to start one for running their board, and eventually you'll out advantage them, which is kind of the concept of any uh, floater removal deck. Um, so yep, and then you have your three Izzy's and your two Izzy and Joes, just to round out your deck, uh, get your memory going, get your draws going, pretty good. I think this deck is going to be interesting. Uh, played a few games with it online, definitely feels good to play. Uh, give it a shot for sure. Uh, then we have uh, sort of a more security control style type deck. Uh, on this one, you see your Command Jamon package, uh, get your Pogamons in, uh, Magna Jamons, Magna Jamons, Lucimon for healing. In uh, this version, we run the four Zork defeats, uh, four Flare, four Onslaught, four Memory Boost. Uh, this is one I haven't really played around with. Um, I haven't super tested this build, but this is just kind of like a rough concept idea. You guys can kind of get where it's going. Uh, you just run your black package, your command jamons just for aggression, and then you can follow that up with your um, heals and your uh, options for removal. So kind of the same idea as the uh, command control deck that I just showed you guys, except this one has access to healing. All right, and then um, here's the, we'll do the standard. We'll go over that one first. So this is kind of just like a standard curve out deck. Um, 16 Command Jamons, uh, 12 level fours. So here we introduce back the uh, Tankmon and the Dark Tyranimon. Um, you could probably take out, I would say two Dark Tyrannos or maybe one Dark Tyrant or one Tank Bond and then slot in Mechanories. That'll help uh, with bonds. Uh, then we see, of course, the uh, four Gogba Mons, the best level five in black, and War Mons Mons for value. Then we go into our black level sixes, Craniumon, very good in BT6 meta, uh, Genkumon, and uh, the two Dark Jamon. So this is essentially Black Royal Knights, but with no Alpha Mon. So maybe you can consider it maybe like a more budget style deck since Alpha Mon is going to be a secret. Uh, two Zwarts, two Flares, and two Izzy and Joes. This can be regular Izzy, this can be Ty, the one that's plus 1000 DP on opponent's turn. Um, yeah, and then Ultimate Flare can be uh, Iron Fist or Geshwalt, but Ultimate Flare I think has the most value. Um, if you only have to pick between one of those. Uh, Zwart can be any of the other Omnimons, except for I wouldn't run Defeat in this version of the deck, just because um, it has less value than um, Zwart or Alter S. Uh, you could even consider Millenniummon, honestly, in this version of the deck. I think it would be good. Okay, and then lastly, there's the uh, Dramon deck. So, uh, Command Jamons. Then we see uh, Dracomon and Monodramon. A Monodramon is to help enable the use of Air of Dragons. So again, it's a uh, draw two. And then if you control a Dramon, uh, you delete an opponent's Digimon with 4,000 DP or less. So it'll clear Gabumons, Agumons, pretty much any rookie actually, and some level fours. I think it's a very interesting card. Um, then Gaia Force, Atomic Blaster, and then yeah, four copies of Starter Deck 1, Taikamiya. So this helps enable your Command Jamon aggression because it'll increase their DP values. Uh, maybe they'll live a little more often, or in the case of this Command Jamon, uh, they'll actually be able to swing over blockers, which is pretty valuable. Uh, so the idea here is to just swing. Uh, the Command Jermon replace themselves so you gain advantage and then you just one for one down their board with removal and eventually come out on top of card advantage. 
All right, so those are kind of some fun Commandermon deck ideas. If you want to join the elite group of Commandermon enjoyers, uh, you are more than welcome. We are always accepting new uh, people into our crew. So please, please join us. Check out Commandermon. It's a fun budget style deck. It doesn't even have to be a budget style deck. You can definitely tech it out, uh, really ball out on the deck and make it as powerful as possible, especially in BT6 where black becomes a super viable color thanks to the addition of um, Iron Fisted Onslaught, uh, Gewalt Schwarmer, um, Genkumon. It's a very powerful color and Commandermon is a very viable option that maybe people look over because Commandermon's kind of a meme deck or whatever but it's not a meme. It's actually good. Check it out. All right, guys. Uh, GG's. See you soon for more BT6 stuff now that the cards are going to come out soon.